This is your reading for Virgo Sun Moon Rising. January 2022. Take what resonates and throw away the rest. It's a general reading, so use discernment. Virgo is feeling stuck, maybe having martyred themselves, feeling a lot of regret and loss. Feeling regret and loss for being the hanged man. Something in the subconscious, some sort of obsession, some sort of addiction, some sort of toxic situation that is very stressful and hard to, to really look at. It's more in the subconscious, but knowing that it's there, that that's what's actually the biggest issue for you right now might be helpful. This could be something you were very inspired by, very just, just inspired by. Uh, attracted to, um, feeling charged, creatively charged, um, right, could be, could be a, attraction, right, attraction that in the recent past, um, temperance, wow, active, very active, I feel like these all want to come out, using your intuition, trying to, Right, okay, I feel like there's a lot going on here. I'm going to keep all of these. There's, it's like you want to explode. You've got a lot that it's like having been sort of stuck here. It really, you want to tune in to the answers of the universe and asking for angelic guidance or for healing and for for um this you you don't want to be apathetic and and um ungrateful you, you want to move fast out of this you you want to just end whatever this is and move quickly out of it you want to say what it is you need to say you want to go where you we want to put your energy right where it needs to go any sort of like heartbreak you want to get it over with but you're also just you're just feeling trapped and you don't know how to to get these things done or how to to move out of the situation in the near future looks like you've got and i just wanted to spin there's this like this feeling just emotions all over the place, not feeling balanced here, feeling like maybe you're being watched or you're watching someone. Uh, this could be, you know, overthinking something, um, hyper vigilant, trying to really think things through. And it just, it's like, um, getting mentally spun out or also someone like that around you. Having to really watch your back. Gossip, being gossiped about. Could be some people here. You are feeling like you your security is the most important thing. You're trying to focus on security. Um, you might be withholding from from people, um, feeling withdrawn and like you need to protect yourself. Um, there could be some monetary issues. You might have enough, but not feel like it's enough. You might be feeling jealous or there could be someone jealous of you. The way you're coming across to people.
Wow. So to people, it feels like you've just been through a lot and it's knocked you out. People might feel, there might be some judgment, just like the word, around around your your behaviors or actions and you're feeling judged. You might badly need a break. You might feel sick. You might come across like you're not you're not well. But it might feel karmic to people. Like, well, you deserved it. Or you might feel that way about someone else in your environment. But it's like, even if it's like there's nothing you can do about it. It's just it is what it is. You're trying to figure out how to get control. And it just seems like the options, there's a lot of options there or illusions and about some sort of agreement that you need to. There could be a father figure here that's confusing, creating illusions or masculine energy could be in a female or male a boss creating an illusion or trying to figure out how to approach this uh, agreement. This could be for business or love. Just feeling very confused about a contract or a choice or a third party. The outcome. At least there's some movement there. At least some, there's, some, there's some movement there. You know, there haven't been a lot of pentacles, right? There was some pentacles here. It's been a lot of like swords, like thoughts and emotions. Some inspiration, but a lot of thoughts and emotions. And then some action. But it looks like there's a shift, but then you've got to juggle a lot that, that, that uh, arises here and underneath the deck we've got ace of cups so this is about self-love and a new beginning i just cut the deck and this devil came out again patience dealing with this devil this toxicity just really feeling like that's what's driving all of this like negativity, some sort of like toxic, toxic situation. Oh, my God. Clarification for this devil card. Right, it's like this devil is like trying to create conflict and stop you from, from having hope and even maybe blocking your, your solitude and your time to be able to, to, it's like this devil's trying to get in your head. So if this devil is an outside person in your environment, look, patience came out again. It's like having to have the patience to deal with this energy and, and be, and be stuck here. This, this conflict feeling sort of like trapped, not figuring out how to, like you, you have this hope and you want, you want it, things to change. Um, but feeling like there's some obsession or jealousy or greed or even these are your own toxic behaviors that are a repetitive cycle that are, are, are pulling you down, that are trapping you and that, that are difficult to see. And this could be a person or something inside of you that needs to emerge for you to look at so that you're not conflicted about about it so that but but then it just seems like a cycle because it's hard to get that time alone or that solitude that place of solitude in your own mind to to get there to get that clarity to be able to figure your way out of the situation
Oh, is there anything that we can do to help clarify? Because you could be feeling attacked and out of balance here. This, right, so this, asking that question, I got King of Wands. Oh, this is all about self-confidence. Being confident, knowing who you are. Even with this obsession or issue, addiction, jealousy, problem, toxic person, you know who you are. Don't forget who you are. There's a reason why you're feeling frustrated. You're feeling frustrated because you know it can be better. And that's the truth because it's coming out here. So even if you're feeling like, you, yeah, you might even be feeling like some sort of like, you're trying to get this clarity. You could be feeling attacked. You might feel like the universe is after you. You might start to feel a little paranoid and it's hard for you to get control of your emotions, but then you've also got to keep it uh, under wraps because you, you just can't expose that. So, um, so advice for this feeling here. Right, we've got all more swords cards. So this is all about also just knowing that, you know, when you're on the right path and you're choosing the right thing, you do have support from the universe. And using mental clarity, you know, making sure, like, be careful with paranoia, but also really using your mind the right way. Because it looks like you're going to get through a particular hump because, see, this person is in a boat. And, you know, not all kings of cups are in boats, but in this particular image, this king is going somewhere and managing their emotions and kind of also having to look over their shoulder. Um, but it's like you're, you're being guided. So even if you're having these feelings, it's like just really you made a decision. Get, get that, that clear decision that you have and stick with it, even if you're feeling this way. And these two of pentacles... Right, it's like you might feel like you're under, you know, excessive pressure and having to really defend yourself. But what's what's great about it is that you will not be this hanged man. Okay, so whatever situation it is that you're stuck in and you're trying to figure your way out of, you're gonna you're gonna make it. You're gonna make it. It's not necessarily gonna be, you know, easy, but. There's some relief at the end where now you're at least juggling. You're at least juggling and, and you're on the top there and you can see what's coming at you. Moving towards this independence going to happen. So relationships, this is a lot about relationships for you. Emotions all over the place. So you're feeling just very emotional. This has to do with relationships and feeling trapped or needing to make a move and not, not being, uh, knowing that you're going to get out and not allowing your emotions to sort of pull you under or your mind to spin you out even if even if you are are being watched or gossiped about or whatever it is that the issue is just keep paddling that boat just keep paddling it right get yourself grounded how do you get yourself grounded you know how to do that
in every moment the universe is conspiring to bring me toward right-minded thinking and the energy of love, right? That's what I was just saying. It's the love and the thoughts. It's the emotions and the thoughts and just knowing, just knowing you're on the right track, even if it's confusing and you feel like you're spinning out or attacked or confused, just keep moving forward, get clear, get grounded, follow your heart. And under the deck, I honor how I wanna feel.